welcome back to the channel guys welcome back to Arizona and welcome to today's video uh, today we are going to be putting louvers on the back of my 350z what are louvers uh, they're basically blinds for rear windows just a fancy name for them because you put them on a car why am I doing that uh, the reason I'm putting louvers on the Z or the reason I want to put louvers on the Z is because my dad my uh, my first sort of Oh, what do you call it? Experience with a sports car was with my dad's Datsun 260Z. He still has it to this day. It's only got like 22,000 miles on it, but his Z has louvers on it. I talked to him last night, had him send me a picture. I'll stick it right here. So that's why I want to do it. Now I bought the cheapo $85 louvers off eBay. These ones right here. Uh, so we're going to be installing those today. Now I did want to do the, I think it's Zaku's Tech or Zaku Tech or whatever. I, I would like to put those louvers on here. Those louvers are like 600 dang dollars out the door shipped um, if you get the painted ones. If you get the unpainted ones shipped, I think it's like 500. But to me, that's just an insane price. Again, this car is cheap. Uh, the whole goal of this car was to just have a fun, cheap car to beat on, maybe learn how to drift. So I can't justify spending anywhere from five to six hundred dollars for louvers so we're going to go with the 85 dollar uh 85 dollar ones off ebay and we'll get started with those right now all right so here are the louvers um just got them out of the box so we'll probably run down to the car and test fit them quick they do flex quite a bit in the middle so um it came with some hardware over here get these nine pieces um and then this little soft tape i think is what goes on the inside of the louver so if they do flex they don't uh, vibrate on the window so if they vibrate they're gone I can't stand vibrations in cars so and then I should add these little holes here how where all the little pieces of hardware goes um, I checked and I am missing a few of the washers that came with it it's the metal hardware pieces with a stud that comes up and then it's got a cap that you screw down um, and there's a washer that goes in between, but three washers are missing from the kit. Not that big of a deal. I can probably get some new ones. Um, but again, there's quite a bit of play in there. Let's go test fit them. Okay, so first things first, we got to pop off the rear wiper. So I think you just pop off this little cover with a flathead. This bolt, I believe, is 12 millimeters. It's, it is. Okay, now this, I've seen people sit here and pry on this. I've seen them take hammers and whack it, but all you have to do is thread it off. If it doesn't come straight up, just thread the wiper off. So I gotta move the camera here. Just keep your finger between the body and the wiper. And once you threaded it far enough, you just pop it off. I'm gonna put the old bolt back for now. I've got a part coming from Amazon to plug this, but it hasn't come yet, so. Okay, so I got the louvers test fitted. I will say one good thing about them. You do not have to remove the rear windshield wiper sprayer when installing these, and these are not install installed. These are just test fitted. But the fitment is absolute garbage. It doesn't matter if you tape down this side or tape down that side, tape down the bottom. Uh, I just cannot get them to fit right. It would have to spend hours trimming the outsides before I would be able to get them to fit inside of this little seal. If I tried to tape one side down just inside the seal, it would overlap on the other. Uh, and then the rake on the louver themselves is just a little bit too aggressive. It doesn't quite match the lines of the car. You can see how it just comes, it should slope down more. There's your interior visibility, it's fine. As you can see, I mean, they could rake it down more, totally. So, I don't think these are the ones, unfortunately. The old saying, you get what you pay for, it's always true. All right, guys, well, sorry that that didn't work out uh, in closing. You know, I, I wish someone had the review out there that had warned me not to buy these louvers. So I'm gonna put it out there now so that you don't have to. When it comes to the 85 to $150 eBay louvers, do not buy them. The plastic is absolute trash. The fitment is garbage. Uh, if you have to have louvers, I think you need to talk to Zaku's Tech. 
uh, five to six hundred dollars for a set of louvers, in my opinion, can be better spent on an exhaust, on a you know you're pretty you're pretty close to some really low end uh, coilovers there at six hundred bucks. Uh, intake. I mean, there's so many other things you can do. Now, if you're a show guy, you've got a beautiful 350, 370, and you know the louvers just finish it off. I get it. Uh, for me and my, you know, 180,000 mile currently 350Z, uh, I can't justify spending, you know, 500 bucks, 600 bucks on a pair of fancy louvers. So I'm probably gonna have to go without for now, but that's okay. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned for the next one, and we'll catch you then. Maybe I should create my own louvers and uh, start selling them. Would you guys buy them? Let me know down below. By the way, the dude on eBay already authorized my return, so we're good to go. Do not buy $85 eBay louvers. Listen.